I went to prison in 2012 and it was my brother's idea to start up a tattoo shop so there was something for me to come out to. It's a family itself, like everyone in here, we, all, we are like a family. My name is Brendan Gomez. I'm, I'm 28 years old. I'm from South London. Been tattooing since 2010 and I hope to be doing it until the day I die. I got into tattooing because I've always been able to draw and into drawing since I was little. Normally, I'll be the one inflicting pain, but today I'm gonna go through it myself, just so my arm looks a little bit nicer. Basically, it was something I'd actually drew when I was in secondary school, so I must have been about 15. So I, I, I knew I wanted a crucifix. I just happened to see a tattoo shop in Croydon when I was passing through, so I said, that's where I'm gonna go get my tattoo. Went back there the next day and I wanted these rosary beads, but I actually wanted the rosary beads to actually wrap around the arm behind the crucifix. He convinced me to put it around my wrist and then he convinced me that I don't need the same amount of beads as a rosary because no one's gonna sit there and count it. Me and Sammy work together, like we're side by side all the time and even when we close up we tend to stay late and just, you know, hang out. I've seen his work so I trust his work. The um, bond between tattooist and the person being tattooed, to describe it, is like an umbilical cord. I'm getting the cover up today um, of red roses. That's just to complement natural tattoo itself when it's finished. It's, it's more to give it a um, finished look. I was tattooing while I was in prison. It was another inmate who was tattooing and he showed me how to make the machine you just use whatever's around you, motor from a radio, spring from a lighter, whatever works. And then after that, everyone wanted tattoos from me instead of him. My favourite tattoo would have to be the swallow because this is what I did myself while I was in prison. People tend to get more meaningful tattoos in prison. They're not after just because they want to look good. They'll be writing that have some sort of meaning. For some reason, some colours hurt more than others. The lighter colours, the whites and the pink tend to hurt more. I've gone through quite a few things. One of the biggest ones was going through a prison sentence and don't let your bad experiences break you. Just make the most of it. It's the first coloured tattoo I've got. I like it. Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a, not a shock, but it's, it's different to what I'm used to. So I just see tattoos as almost like having a journal. It's like a journal printed on your body. I guess cover it up. It's like ripping out a page of the journal. I got my first tattoo when I was 13 because my mum was like, we, she opened the tattoo shop when I was 12. I was like bugging her, can I get one, can I get one, can I get one? She was like, all right, yeah, you can get one, thinking that it would scare me off. At the age of 13, I kind of knew I was going to be fully covered. Tattoos for me are my story and how I portray myself. My name's Poppy, I'm 23. I was a bartender up until about a month ago. I'd been bartending for four years, working in the tattoo shop since I was 12. So being around this whole thing since I was young and it's the same, you get to interact with people on a daily basis. You never know what's gonna come through the door. As a bartender, you never know what's gonna come to the bar. We was all a group of friends after a night out. Yay, let's go and open up the tattoo shop. Literally what happened. So I tattooed her and then she tattooed me. And then one of our other friends got jealous and was like, no, but you can't have her initial and not have mine. And now we've all gone our separate ways. It's all of us just taken, grown up and taken different paths. So they don't represent what I want them to represent anymore. And it's kind of a chapter in my life that I want to close. Miguel, he's a personal friend, and when he came to London, he had no clients, no customer base. And I was like, all right, tattoo my leg, because I know a few people, so I was like, if they see that you've tattooed me, they might trust you a bit more. We've built up a friendship in the shop, so now I'll only let him really tattoo me. I don't necessarily get a tattoo when I'm really happy. I always get them when I'm going through something, 
I think that's why the why probably does bother me so much because I know that she done it. It just reminds me of her every single time I look at it. The first point I think is that customer is not happy with the tattoo, so it's coming with that vibration. I'm not happy and then I want something perfect and you have to do that perfect tattoo. The cover-up that I'm going to get is going to be of a bird to symbolise like freedom and flying away. It hurt, but it's more of a vibration on my ribcage. Like, there were some bits that was really sharp, like when you went near my armpit, it was really sharp. Apart from that, I've had worse. I am very happy with my new cover-up. Miguel done a fantastic job as always, so I didn't expect anything less. The relationship that you have to have with a tattoo artist is extremely important. You're trusting that person to put something on your skin forever. I don't personally think they're a portrait of the person who's got the tattoo, they're a portrait of the person who's done the tattoo.